A second escarpment that drops 274 meters is called the small world's end. The Baker's Fall drops in splendor. Waters then follow through to the Chimney Fall before joining the Beluloya on its way to the Balava River. Threats to the Horton Plains have been controlled. Hunting, encroachment, removal of plants and gem mining are no longer serious threats. However, invading plant species has become a serious concern. The officials are endeavouring to control it, but the threat is still there. Littering is another serious problem, which has started attracting crows to the area. The park is now safer from outside threats it faced. One reason for this is the awareness creation by the Department of Wildlife. We focus mostly on school children, the village communities and government servants. Awareness creation for visitors to the park has been a fruitful exercise. The Department of Wildlife Conservation has put in much effort to provide the visitors with information, knowledge as well as infrastructure to increase the comfort level during sightseeing. Accommodation facilities are available in the bungalows and campsites within the park. Day visitors have to leave by 6 in the evening. This is to ensure the safety of both the visitor and the wildlife. Horton Plains is the only place where visitors are allowed to roam on their own. The visitor's center provides good displays to orient the visitor to the park. There are also lecture presentations and video screenings to provide conservation awareness. The Wildlife Conservation Department has taken much effort to improve the infrastructure facilities to make visitors more comfortable. There is limited overnight accommodation in circuit bungalows as well as campsites. As we enjoy nature's benevolence, it is good to show our gratitude in return and consciously help to conserve this magnificent gift to our land.